So you would like to work from here or here. You've probably seen all of the pretty pictures on the ground, but how does it work? And how can you set up and structure your business in order to work 100% remotely? I got you. In this video, I'll be sharing the ultimate guide on how to work 100% remotely with your business. So for the past few years, I've managed to set up my business and structure it in a way that allowed me to work from wherever I want. I've been to Dubai, to Egypt, to Bali, to Spain, south of Europe, to Thailand, and a lot of different other places. I'm really happy and grateful for that. But it didn't came out of nowhere. I had to work hard for it. So I sat down for a while thinking about how can I create a video that really describes the steps you need to take in order to do it as well. And everything starts with structuring your business in the right way in order to work remotely. Because what does it mean to work remotely? If you want to work remotely, you need to be able to work from wherever you want. So this means that your business needs to be structured in a way that you do everything online. So if you're a physical therapist, which needs to be sitting down with clients in, in real life, or if you're running a physical store, a restaurant or whatever, you will not be able to work remotely. Everything starts with structuring it in the right way so that you can open your laptop from wherever you want and continue the business. And of course, don't get me wrong, you can open a physical store or run a restaurant, hire people who work in there and you can travel while this business is running. But I don't think it's very smart. I don't think it's very fair for your employees to do that, to be chilling uh, on the beach while they're working hard. I think your whole team needs to work like that. Your whole company needs to be structured in that way. Because if there is a trouble in your restaurant, a trouble in your physical store, you need to be there. And if you're in Bali chilling on the beach, I don't think it's a very smart idea to be that far if something goes wrong, you know? So let me give you some examples of businesses that can be run 100% really remotely. So for example, you can be a web designer, a graphic designer, or a copywriter, a social media marketing manager, or a social media content creator, or a software engineer, an e-com store owner, so you're in the e-com, and a lot of different things like that. I think the solution to working 100% remotely is that you offer a service which is 100% digitally. Because for example, if you're a web designer, you can just open up your laptop and build your website for your clients, for yourself. Or if you're running an eco store, everything is online. So once you have structured everything in the right place and you're ready to go, you need to skill your business. You need to earn money because without money, you cannot travel. Without money, you cannot go to the desired places you really want to go. So how does this work? Like I mentioned in the video, in the beginning of this video, it's very hard. I worked hard to get here. It took me a few years in order to do it. Sometimes I look at the Instagram and YouTube and I see very young people already doing it and killing it. Like it's a great inspiration, but make sure that you're on your own journey. You're on your own way of doing it and making sure that you're able to do it. So once you have structured everything and choose the right product or service for you, then you need to scale it. You need to earn your few first dollars in order to be able to afford to travel because it's not for free, of course. Now there comes a process of gaining clients, structuring it in the right way that you are able to have contact with your clients, making sure that everything is done digitally. If you have a team, they need to be ready for that. Are they also going to work remotely or is it only you? I would recommend the whole team, but you can decide. But everything needs to be prepared in the right way and you need to scale. Most importantly is that you earn your money. Because a lot of people are always asking me like, how much do you need in order to travel? In order to work remotely and travel a few places during the year? And I think it's a very hard question to answer because everyone wants something different. Like there's a big difference if you want to go to Dubai, which is quietly expensive. Or if you want to go to Bali, which is far less expensive. You compare it to Dubai. I would say that if you are starting and if you want to start like trying to work remotely, I would say you need at least three to 5k profit per month to do it. And if you want to do more activities and want to do a lot of more things besides just traveling, I think it needs to be more. And keep in mind, if you also have liabilities right now, like a car or 
a house or other things, you need to keep in mind that this is not included. Okay, but let's say you're ready. Your business is completely structured in the right way. You're making the right money and everything is ready. You're ready to go. You're like, all right, we're going to do this. Then I would like to give you the last few advices because there are some negative benefits related to working remotely. You might wonder, how is that even possible? Is that even possible? Yes, it is. Because it, of course, it looks very pretty through the gram and all of the pictures that people are showing. But there are some things that you definitely need to keep in mind when you are want to start working and traveling. And the first thing is time zone. You need to keep in mind that everywhere around the world, there is a different time zone. If you want to travel very far, for example, Bali, I've been to Bali in the beginning of this year for like six weeks, one and a half month. And all of my clients are mainly focused and based in the Netherlands, in Amsterdam. So there was a difference of six hours between Bali and Amsterdam, which means almost a full working day of difference. So I really needed to take care of how do I do this with contact with my clients, with my team, with the meetings that I have. So if you're going to do it and if you want to travel, very far you need to be willing to work sometimes in the middle of the night you need to do a, a meeting very very early in the morning or very late you need to be a little bit flexible in order to do it because you are the one that needs to be adapting to your clients you cannot ask your clients to join a call in the middle of the night for them the second thing is routine and structure in the first few years of running my business i wasn't traveling i was just working from my room at my mom's place trying to figure out how i could manage to grow my business and etc etc but i really had a great structure and a great routine because i think it's very important that you have a good routine in order to build a business it's not only focusing on the business but it's a whole lifestyle you need to be mentally fit physically fit in order to achieve big things in life and i think for everyone to a certain degree you have a routine but once i started traveling and i thought like all right i'm ready you cannot expect to go there open your laptop and start working again that's not how it works because there are a few things that are crucial for example you need wi-fi connection you need a good working spot where can you even sit down and open your laptop to work you need a little bit of concentration maybe a desk a nice chair like in Bali and in Thailand, most of the time you have like the wooden chairs, which are, I, I almost broke my back every time I, I was working for two hours. So it took me some time to find the right places or to create a good environment for myself to work. And of course, in between, I need to go to the, to the gym. I need to make sure that I find the right places to eat, to make food or find a place where I can eat the right food. All of these things you have to keep in mind because you're going to a total different new place. You need to have to figure out everything, which costs a lot of time. And in that time, you cannot focus on your work. So keep in mind that you go to a place that maybe some people can also recommend to you. Maybe some people in your network already are working remotely and maybe can, they can give you some advice. And if not, if you need to find out yourself, I would recommend you to go in not a very busy period of time in your business because it's going to take a lot of time in the first weeks that you move to a different and new place. And the last tip, most important one, I would like to share with you is that you need to focus on keeping the consistency once you get there. Because once you get to a certain place, and you are able to afford yourself to travel and to work, there opens a total new world. It's very nice, it's very new, but also very tempting to go and, and try to explore all new places. If you're in Dubai or in Bali or whatever, it's very tempting to go to the beach, to the Burj Khalifa, to explore, explore this and that. And there are a lot of things that you would like to do, but you need to keep in mind, you need to keep working as well. You need to uh, keep outreaching to, for new clients. You need to manage the current projects that you have. You need to be able to have contact and calls with your clients because it's very easy and tempting to do a lot of other things besides from working. Don't get comfortable once you're there. That's one of my, the biggest advices I can give. So what really worked for me was starting my day with the most important tasks first, which means I started my day opening my laptop and checking, all right, what are the most important things that I need to do today? And I fixed it did first because later in the afternoon, I could afford sometimes to go away because all of the most important things were already done. So don't start by going to uh, eat breakfast at a nice terrace or something like that. No, 
start with the most important things first and then try to enjoy a little bit as well. Because of course we're not traveling without a reason. We would like to explore the world. Alright, so that was it for today. And once again, first you need to structure your business in the right way in order to work remotely. Try to find a product or service which can be done digitally. Second, try to scale your business. Make sure you're at least making 3 to 5k in profit in order to do it. Prepare yourself very well. Don't get comfortable and try to keep managing and keep scaling it to a further level. And if you're now wondering like, all right, nice, all of these tips and tricks, but how can I really scale my company and build it from zero? Then please subscribe to this channel because later on I will be sharing and showing you exactly how I did this from zero to one. So make sure you're subscribed, like this video, please leave a comment if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.